Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Dare and welcome to another GPO tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up a Pavlo VR server for all you people that love your VR games. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is go to the GPO website at www.g-pogo.com and then go to rent a server. What you want to do then is click on the Pavlo 1 VR or type at the top Pavlo VR and click order. Since I already have a server, what we need to do is go down to the server and click on it. Here you'll see status, basic settings, config files, logs and everything else that we need. But for now, we're going to go with the basic settings. At the very top right, up there, where it says offline or online, make sure you tick offline before we change any settings. Now we're going to switch over to the big screen. And as you can see, right above me here, there, <laughs> right, we're going to go server name and we're going to give our server a name. Now it's up to you, whatever you want, but I suggest that you keep it within the brackets and the hyphens, whatever the heck they're called these days, and just say dare server by GPO. For the, um, this be enabled, make sure you have it enabled because otherwise your server will not show on the server list. Now this is unconfirmed, but I'm sure that's how it works. Sets the, the next one's competitive, sets the server to default game mode, search and destroy. You can turn that off if you want. If you want to give your server a password, make sure it's maximum of four digits and only numbers, okay? The max amount of players that you can have for your server. Now, depending on how many slots that you bought, that's how many you have there. Be secured enables the anti-cheat, which please have on, you know, most people don't want to play on a cheater server. Balance table URL, um, which is there. I'm not sure what how, how you fix that or change everything on that, but um, what I would suggest is do your research before you do change stuff. Okay, so um, moving on now, we've got the time limit, depends on the time limit of each map, 60 seconds, tick rate of 90. Um, we're going to have zero, which equals unlimited ammo type, defines which, uh, in which way ammo type is limited. So it's up to you what you want to change, but like I said, do your research first. Refire, refresh list time is 120. Well, we're going to have a uh, B whitelist. Um, do we want to whitelist the server? If you do, users with the whitelist.txt can join. I would leave that off unless you know what you're doing. Um, B custom server enables modding tools required for the whitelist.txt. Put that on or turn it off, whatever you want. Okay, so map rotation. This is the last part of setting up the server. To order to find a new map, what you would like to do is go to this area here called pathlow4.com or slash map list. And then what you want to do here is say, for example, you look over here, you see map ID. We're looking for the map ID. If you can find it, good for you. If not, whatever, I still haven't worked that out. I'm still working on it. Um, According to the devs, uh, they were able to find this site, uh, the GPO dev team and support. They will keep trying to search for more, but so far that's the only, this is the only place we've found it. I'll put a list link to this in the description. And if you can work it out, leave a comment below so you can help other people. Okay. So once you got that, you've got your uh, data center or whatever else and gun wood. So it looks like you could do is grab, say, for example, me paintballers we'll go like that and then you can go map id paintballers game mode team death match and you know you can click add and that seems to work but does it we'll never know <laughs> for now anyway okay i'll move on to the configuration files you don't need to edit any of these these are usually saved as is um logs we don't need to edit them either for all update, make sure it is set to on and click save. Restarts, this is how you want to make sure your server is not clogging up in data or anything like that. I would set, set it daily, usually to a time in the morning. So I would say like every, say maybe like seven in the morning or something like that, four in the morning and daily restart and then just click save. And then that will do for the save of that. For the next part, which is backup, 
Now let's say, for example, you want to back up and make sure your server is constantly backed up. Gportal has an amazing backup system. All you do is click create backup and click confirm. Wait for that bar at the top done, and then it'll the page will refresh, and there you go. You've backed up your server. For permissions, what you want to do here is you'll be able to add people to control this page, but that's up to you if you wish to do that. Don't recommend it unless you know what you're doing. And that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching another GPO tutorial. I'm Dare. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video. And if you have any suggestions on any servers that you want to hand setting up, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night.